Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Someone is lying here, and that's not me. And this is uh, <laughs> one of these guys that I'm going to talk about in my uh, next article. You remember that a few days ago, uh, the Russian foreign minister, Mr. Sergei Lavrov, made some comments, blah, 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 and some people got offended, blah, blah, blah. And then you had a country being offended, that's the country of Israel. And then there was a report that um, uh, Vladimir Putin called uh, the Israeli prime minister and apologized in Lavrov's name. And I was, I posted a video on that. And I was like, it's very strange how Putin, the boss, the dictator, the criminal, uh, would call this guy in the name of his subordinate. Why didn't he make the subordinate call and apologize if that was uh, appropriate, you know, if they thought it was appropriate? And I was thinking, hmm, man, Putin would call and do this? It's kind of like weird. Is, is that Israel yields so much power over these guys? What's going on? I mean, I know that's a big, you know, energy there and so on, but that's not good. But and now we have something else coming from a, a different outlet it's from the new voice of ukraine what the the old voice <laughs> if this is the new one and this is what this guy says it's coming on may it's came uh, this came on may 6 2022 kremlin spokesman doesn't confirm putin apologized to israeli prime minister for lavrov's anti-semitic remarks his remarks let's stop there and Dmitry Peskov, who's not the sharpest tool in the toolbox, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know this guy. But anyway, in an interview, I mean, I like him to a certain extent, but he seems goofy at times. Like, he's asked easy question and he's like, oh, yeah, what a smack, let's go. So in an interview with the Italian television and radio co uh, company Mediaset on May 1st, Commenting on Ukrainian president, Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky's Jewish ethnicity. Oh, they go back to uh, what Lavrov said, and uh, I'm not going to say it here because they already say this is this and this is that. But on May 5th, Israel online newspaper, the Jerusalem Post, reported that Putin is a phone call in a phone call with Bennett, the prime minister of Israel had apologized for Lavrov's remarks about Jews. I was like, oh man, look at that. At the same time, there is no mention of this in press release from the Kremlin. Hmm, because the Kremlin is lying. They used a big lie. <laughs> they borrowed it. And I'm, uh, I am uh, quoting right now. The conversation was really very important, but now we have nothing to add to what we said in a written statement on the results of this conversation, Peskov said. Okay, it was very important. So he, they spoke, that's for certain. Ask whether Lavrov himself should apologize. Peskov said that they were continuing a trusting, friendly dialogue. So that means no. <laughs> uh, commenting, on, commenting on this incident, Israeli President Isaac Herzog said that Lavrov preferred to spread horrible lies which are considered to be anti-Semitism. Well, that's what it is. So he didn't confirm, deny, uh, they spoke, that's for sure, but there's no mention on uh, apologies. Why? It's because Putin uh, is, uh, is uh, how should I put it, um, his ego, because of Putin's ego? I don't think so. Then why, would the other ones lie? They never lie. I don't know. I have no idea. No idea. But the fact is that Peskov uh, said, no, Lavrov did not apologize. And to be honest, as I said, it's very weird, strange to think that President Putin will apologize to Israel, prime minister, for what his foreign minister said. That's his employee. So he should make that guy, hey, if this was inappropriate, you apologize. 
he couldn't make him? There's two options. One, Putin doesn't have control, or Lavrov is not alive anymore. What's the other option? Do you think Lavrov could have said no to his boss? Then when the boss says, oh, 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 okay, that means Putin is not in control. He's not that evil guy who has uh, total control of, of everything. The other option, where is Lavrov? Anybody, Humpy Dumpy, where are you? Let's find Lavrov. So I'm waiting for Lavrov to appear. Or maybe they do not think that was uh, something wrong that they say. And they say, why should we apologize? I don't know how they took it because I didn't hear anybody in the, I didn't hear anybody in the, in the Russian uh, uh, circle of power saying that uh, whatever Lavrov said was, uh, you know, uh, anti-Semitic or something like that. They didn't, I didn't hear them backing him up with anything, but I didn't hear that anybody condemning him. Maybe we'll hear in the future. So I have no idea. The fact is, one side said something, the other side says something else. I don't know. Uh, the phone, conver phone conversation is uh, it occurred. I don't know the con content. The Russians uh, trans uh, transcript uh, did not mention that. The other guys mentioned that. I don't know. Peskov avoided that. Maybe they want to, you know, they don't want to lose face. But why would you lose face? Because if you lose face, that means that if you do that, it shows weakness. So, is in front of whom? Israel? Okay, why? Why are you so afraid of that? Or maybe you feel you insulted someone, but it's a foreign minister. Why would the president say that? You know, that's, that's a, there's a lot of, uh, you know, things that do not make sense, however you want to take them. Because I personally dislike when I hear a president of a state uh, apologizing in the name of the country for some things that the, another president or other, other leaders of the same country did to someone else. It's not your job to apologize because you apologize in, in my name. And maybe I disagree with your apology. I don't apologize for that. I am not guilty whatsoever. Neither you are. So I hate people who apologize for other people. No, you have no right. I mean, you have right, but it means zero. Your apologies are not accepted by the people in the name of whom you apologize. No, I apologize for my actions. You apologize for your actions. But that's a thing, you know, remember that when someone came and washed our sins and we started over the original sin, it was washed with his coming and then the sacrifice and so on. So maybe it's a connection between this kind of behavior that we feel that we have to apologize and show uh, moral superiority because you apologize for something we didn't do, but there's no repercussions for the people who apologize, but a medal. So if people who apologize should be punished for the sins that the other person did in the past, I would take that. Yes, okay. But they don't. They do it just to put a medal in that chest and said, I apologize for this and I'm so morally superior and so nice. No, then you pay for what that guy said. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, then shut up. Up. All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Uh, stay strong, stay smart, and I'm going to keep looking for that apology and see if that occurred or not. And looking for Lavrov. If you find Lavrov, let me know. Okay. Uh, if you find him <sighs> breathing. <laughs> see ya. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. See ya.